Hi, this is Danielle. Welcome to the Simpler Options free video for the night of October 5th, 2018. So I wanted to talk about the NASDAQ really quickly. Um, you know, we are in a situation where we're within normal correction territory at this moment in time. Of course, we could still go lower. Um, but as of right now, we are holding about the 73 hundred area which I would consider a pretty key area and if you zoom in a little bit more you can see exactly where I have that zone which is 7313 to 7338 so we did hit and hold that pretty well today especially I mean you can see the nice wick on the candle and we're still in a Nasdaq daily squeeze so it's just kind of the moment in time where we have to look at this and say all right well if this breaks then yes we this squeeze could potentially fire to the downside um, and we could see a much larger pullback in the Nasdaq in tech but you know with that buying that came in today with this hold right here with this squeeze we could also very well see a ready aim fire buy signal on Monday or Tuesday and we could see a rally off of these lows so as of right now of course we don't know the answer to that but that's what we're looking out for we're looking for either a break there or we're looking for um, a switch in pattern with um, the wave and the grab candles which would be defined as one of these guys right here so do you see how do you see how we had previously price printing above the moving averages we had green candles and then all of a sudden you get a moving average cross you get typically a blue candle before they go red but then the candles go red and we're now printing underneath our moving averages and trading downwards so that's kind of where that switch happened well we're looking for the switch to happen again to the upside that would tell us that we're now trading higher off of those lows. So that's what I'm going to look for in the overnight action on Sunday in NASDAQ futures. If we do trade higher, what do I want to buy? Well, Adobe is really at the top of my list uh, for a couple of reasons. I've got a really nice area of symmetry support, nice cluster zone down there, but also just because Adobe is one of my favorite five stars and um, it trades really well off of symmetry on the daily chart. It just behaves. So most of these pullback decisions were at symmetry and they come down to the 50 period. They hit a symmetrical pullback level and then they bounce. And I just like trading tickers that cooperate like that. Um, and that's what I'm looking for here. So you can see that I have my levels outlined comes in really between 256 let's see what that is exactly 256.54 and then 258 so pretty tight zone right here I do have one lower level that comes in but primarily looking for it to stay right around in the zone and what I'm looking for is a ready aim fire buy signal to tell me that it's time to get into a trade so I did already trade this daily squeeze right here up into the failure at the 786 but now I mean we're still in a squeeze and we can trade it again so for any of you who might have stayed in the Adobe trade after I got out of it um, I still think it's holding up quite well if that zone breaks of course I'll change my mind but if I get a ready aim fire buy signal or if I get a 30 minute moving average cross uh, I would like to buy some more Adobe you can do that by selling some put credit spreads or buying long calls Delta 70 about 30 to 45 days out if that's too expensive they're running at about $14 or so then I would just change it into a debit spread and really I would look for a move into about 282 so that's my free video um, we'll see what happens with the Nasdaq with the S&P's on Sunday when the futures market opens up again but that's what I'll be looking for in the trading room so hope to see you there I hope you have an excellent weekend and talk to you on Monday